How you doing guys and welcome to part 4 of how to get a 7 on your IA. Welcome. If it's your first time at the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and if this video helps you out at all, make sure you drop a like on it because it helps me out. Okay, so part 4, the evaluation. Now the evaluation contains two important parts, the conclusion and the evaluation. And in my experience, this is the thing that the students that students struggle most with in the IA. So the conclusion, this is where you sum up your findings from the analysis section on the IA, link in the description. Presenting your conclusion based on your findings from how you have interpreted your data. Here you want to describe those findings and justify those findings. You don't want to present any new information, you've done that in the analysis. So you are just describing and justifying them. You want to present your data from your analysis with the absolute uncertainties. So you're stating the facts. The facts are this is the calculated value and this is the uncertainty. You then want to compare your data to some accepted literature value and you must have some accepted literature value for this comparison. You could do that by presenting a percentage difference which if you have a look in the IB text it tells you how to work that out. Then you want to move on to outlining the strengths and the weaknesses of your evaluation. You should start with the strengths, that you were able to gather data, that the data was reasonably reliable, and that you have been able to calculate a value for your investigation. That could be the strengths. The weaknesses, you want to go into a lot more detail. So in the weaknesses, this is where the evaluation will take place. You want to describe the weaknesses of your investigation. The best way of doing this is to state and describe the weakness, then outline the impact on the calculated value. Finally, you want to present a realistic suggestion for improvement. So here in this section, we're talking about the systematic errors, the problems that are involved in your investigation. So again, you want to state that weakness, outline the impact, and suggest a realistic improvement for that weakness. You should be aiming to do that for at least three weaknesses. You want to describe three different systematic errors, three different ways that you could have improved your investigation. After you've done your systematic errors, you want to make mention of random errors. So you need to describe the presence of them and how those can be improved or reduced, but remember random errors can never be completely removed. So here are some things to avoid in your conclusion and evaluation. You don't want to present new information in your conclusion. You want to do that in the analysis. Here you just want to sum up your findings and state them really clearly to the reader. It can be concluded that I've done all the analysis, so this is what my final conclusion is. Another big error is not stating your findings or comparing them with a literature value. So you must have some comparison to the literature value. It's in the criteria, so the moderators will be looking for that in your IA. A lot of people underestimate the strength of their data. So they actually come up with a weak conclusion when in actual fact their data shows that they actually have produced a good IA and they do have some really strong data. So don't underestimate the strength of your data. Be confident with your analysis, be confident with your investigation and state that conclusion really clearly and really strongly. Another thing to avoid is being vague with your impacts when you're talking about the weaknesses. You don't want to just say it increases or decreases. You want to be very specific. It either increases the mass, decreases the percentage of. You want to be really specific with its impact. Another big thing to avoid is having less than three systematic errors in the evaluation or, or not mentioning the presence of random errors. You want to present three systematic weaknesses, describe them, and you want to also mention the fact that random errors are always present in any analysis. Another thing to avoid is unreal unrealistic improvements. In a few of the IAs I've read, some students have suggested doing reactions in vacuums and that's just not relevant. So make sure that your suggestions for improvement are relevant and they actually make sense. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget drop a like on the video, subscribe for more, and in the next video, in part five, we'll talk about the communication, which is the last section 
of the IA criteria.